Hello and welcome back to more Storybook Brawl. Oh man, these are like all the heroes I like. We got Mask, Super Pan, and Gwen, which are some of my tops. Um, I feel like Super Pan's pretty good if you're trying to get like third place. Gwen is pretty good if you're trying to get like first place. And the Mask is the highest out of them all, so. <laughs> the upside of the Mask is so high, right? You can go Mask into Skip the Time Skipper. And then like Mask into... Uh, Gwen, I guess, would be the next best one and just completely go off. Here we're going to take Sherwood Sure Shot and then Lock for the Frog. Next turn we get to take Frog and Four Glory, so we're going to be pretty strong early, which is a good start. It also kind of negates the downside of the Mask, which is you don't have like a hero power on the early turns because like Sharon or whatever, they get buffs every turn. Ugh, not going first hurts. But, uh, Mask, you know, you gotta wait till turn three to do good stuff. Ooh. Um. So I can take Cinderella, but I'm not, like, super likely to win the fight. So let's just do this and cast this spell. Um, do I want to lock for Cinderella is the question. She's pretty good. I'm going to be casting spells off of Mask, so I think I will. Plus, maybe we can find another Lonely Prince, and then, uh... Buy Cinderella, buy Lonely Prince, and just have, like, an absurd team. A 7-3? No! Oh, man. That was actually quite brutal. Um, but we could go Cinderella into Humpty, transform Humpty. Okay. That seems alright. And I'm running all of them frontline to just minimize the chance that they snipe my Sherwood Sure Shot again. Last round was... Pretty devastating, but we'll make it through. Now we're playing against the undefeated Morgan Le Fay. That's a pretty big Humpty Dumpty. Ah, we oh well, we don't even get to kill it. No. Oh, that's frustrating. All right, we're getting stomped, but we get to take a new hero. Wonder Waddle, Grandmother, Mordred. Um. Hmm. I mean, we could go early game Wonder Waddle. Start like tripling level threes. And then do that. I don't know if hitting Grandmother gives me an extra 10 health, but I think I want to go early game Wonder Waddle. Then I can take the White Stag. And I guess I was not supposed to do that. So I can go White Stag and put both of these in the back row. And don't hit any triples here. Okay. We're just looking for another copy of this, another copy of the frog. There's a lot of good things we could hit. Oh, I like this. They're just growing their Juliet. But they are taking a lot of damage in the process. Okay, um, there's a Brave Princess. Honestly, I'm not in love with any of these. I guess Brave Princess did just get a buff. She now has 5 attack. But even then... I love the Donkey. In fact, I'm just going to take a lot of these, I think. We can do like this. Play her... And another Sherwood Sure Shot. I really do like the donkey, but I think we take this and then we just lock for the donkey. Because it's cheap. We can also take the blind cat, the black cat. Like doubling that for a treasure would be pretty good. I think I want to... No, I guess I have to have it like this, don't I? Not the greatest squad, but if we can get this 8-8 eight, eight back row frog prince, and this is going to be a 5-6. Uh, I think like, those are pretty strong characters. Sherwood sure Shot as a 4-4 four, four is not terrible. Of course, they polywoggle and they have a 6-7, but we get to attack with the sheep, or whatever this thing is, so that's good. We kill that. Okay, so we do win this fight. Nice. 
Then we get donkey, cat. Uh, I could grab a lucky, or I could grab a darkwood creeper. I'm trying to think what goes better for the current build. I feel like lucky goes better for the current build. We get to buff everything, get a treasure. Your tr animals and treants have plus one attack and are evil. Characters have plus one health, plus one gold each round. Um, I kind of like this one. Plan for the late game. Uh, we can true love's kiss, which I... No, we can't. Okay. Good to know. Um, back row donkey. I think the 4-3 is better than the 3-4. This is a 5-5, five, five, which is fairly good. Do I want to lock for True Love's Kiss? I'm about to hit level 4. So I don't think so. A big part of me wants to put the donkey here. Giving this 9 toughness. It seems pretty good in the late game. So I think we're going to go a little bit greedier. Try and buff up the donkey. Um, and I'm not going to lock for anything. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Alright. Good work, Donkey. You survived the ranger shot. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. Okay, but that dies. I don't know why this guy's so big, but I'll take it. Wow, we're actually winning this. Oh, he's big because of the donkey. Or the, the deer, the elk buff or whatever. That's awesome. Okay, we really like Fairy Godmother. I think that's quite good. Um, at this point, I can probably sell the Cinderella for Fairy Godmother. I like Wonder Waddle because we can triple it pretty easily with... Uh, or Polywoggle because it's good with Wonder Waddle. And we can roll... Um, hey... Guess at this point we can sell the black cat for Good Witch of the North. We can triple Good Witch of the North, that seems alright to me. And we can take Merlin's hat or Ring of Revenge. Ring of Revenge is pretty good with uh, Fairy Godmother stuff. I don't really have too many token producers. I think I like Merlin's hat. Plus three attack permanent on... I guess this archer. So we put her in the back row. We just have this giant donkey. And I guess at this point I'm not running lucky because I want uh, ranged stuff. Or like get the toughness boost on my donkey. That fireball was unfortunate. Okay, we're getting getting some toughness. No, not that one. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. We killed that. She gets bigger. Ugh. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We're playing as the mask. We can now transition. I really want to get the polywoggle triple. And then switch. Uh, this is a pretty easy level 4 treasure. We'll take that. Ooh, Princess Peep is excellent. So let's sell the Lucky and get the Peep. Run her here. Okay. Um, nothing from here. Ooh, I like Gingerbread Party actually quite a bit. Just buffing your team or your whole like shop by one is actually fairly good. Um. The white stag making Trojan donkey stronger, I think, is nice. And we're going to look for Polywoggle for a little bit longer, but in the near future, we're going to have to. It was all a dream because we need to free up space in our hand and, you know, other stuff. Plus four plus six. I think is fairly good. Yeah, I think that's okay. It makes our front line just a much bigger like this. The Sherwood Sure Shot is doing work now. Um, if we could triple it, it would be good. We've been cursed with Wonder Waddle lately, just not, <laughs> not getting any triple animal pairs, but that's okay. 
And I'm very scared of new Sandrak. I think new Sandrak is substantially better than the old one. At least from what I've seen so far. Because they just get like a frontline unit that's absolutely enormous. Yeah, and then they just... Also, this character's huge. I guess they had Kitty Cut first in the front row for a while. Okay, that goes there. The donkey. No, not that one. <laughs> oh, we were getting wrecked. Just the the character scaling of New Sandrak is ridiculous. So it's it's hard to manage. Um, we could move into Juliet stuff. I don't actually know what I'm supposed to do here. We're about to hit level five. I can take this to hit the Nutcracker, but I think I just need to make sure I don't die. There are two Prince Arthurs. Oh man, this is hard. Let's just pick a new hero. Mordred, Ivella, Jack's Giant, none of these are great. I guess I'll take Mordred. It's late game Mordred's alright. Um, we can take double Prince Arthur now by giving up on this Polywoggle. Hello? Okay. There's a Romeo? There's a Juliet and a Court Wizard? I think we're okay for now. We kill their cat. Ooh, their squad's strong too. We kill their Grim Soul. Or Friendly Spirit, whatever it is. Oh, that's right. When something dies, we do get the Prince Arthur. Okay, so that's not the worst. Just an extra toughness boost. Ugh, the upgraded donkey, though. They <laughs> got a Southern Siren. That's not good. But we kill the Southern Siren. And then we die. Not the worst death. Okay. Okay, we get to triple the archer. That's good. Your characters have plus one health. Your smaller characters are there. I guess I want Crown of Atlas. That's quite good with good boy. Um, okay, we're doing something. We get a one cost transform a character. What do we want to hit? I think I want to hit the white stag. It's kind of the weakest here, but it only brings it up to a level four. So I'd rather transform a level four hero. Um, I think Hungry Hungry Hippo is actually pretty good. So we can take the hippo. I think I'm just going to give up on a Prince Arthur. That's good. Okay, so we put that there. We can put the hippo here or something. Um, can sell this Prince Arthur. Or sheep and wolf's clothing. Which I'm gonna put here. And I don't want any of those. I didn't have time to fully fledge out my squad, but this feels they have a good boy? Oh no. Their team is basically mine, but just better. And everyone keeps killing my sheep before I can get any like major value off of it. But this guy is huge, so that's not nothing. But I think our back row, well, we don't die. That's important. But we do take a bunch of damage. <laughs> I think we go to like one, yeah. <laughs> we don't die though. We get a level four treasure, then a level five treasure. Uh, Reduplicator is kind of awkward with what we currently have, but with Mordred we can do some crazy things. I think I like Ring of Rage with what I have going on though. And at this point I think we need to move off Spinning Wheel. Then we get a level 5 treasure. Ambrosia is good, Tree of Life is good, Horn of Olympus is the least good, so I guess we take 
ambrosia here instead of um I think I like it instead of Merlin's hat because now we're just looking for good boy. Then we can sell this dude to grab a sheep. Tripling that doesn't matter too much. We're really, really looking for a good boy. Baby bear is good too. Uh, sell this for this. Uh, okay, we're playing against the ghost. Hopefully we don't get wrecked. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> has been sniping my princess peep, and I do not appreciate it. The first time one of your characters dies, summon the highest attack character from your hand. Maybe I already did that. Maybe, I don't know. Alright, another baby bear is great. So I think we're off this donkey. Grabbing baby bear. Nothing here. Come on, Bernstein. Anything? No. Princess Peep. I think it's a little bit late for her. We're just looking for like Bernstein or Good Boy. And not seeing any of them. Uh okay. Well, we put this here for sure. Um I could get rid of Good Witch of the North. I don't think she's super necessary now. Just having like this ranged might even be better, even though it's only 8 power ranged. Wow, we didn't see anything. Um, 820, I mean, we don't really care that much about toughness. Could run this guy in the back row. So now we just have like a bunch of things that summon characters. Yeah, I think that's okay. And then the highest attack character in my hand is one of these. So I guess I want to summon the Nutcracker. So I'm going to sell the Sherwood Sure Shot and roll. And do I lock for that? No. All right, we got to survive this and somehow find a Berenstein. Which it... Feels like... wow. Well, Lancelot has zero attack. <laughs> oh, how did they... Oh, that's unfortunate. Also, why are we not summoning a hero? Is it just bugged or like... What's going on there? We should be summoning... Something. Well, they get a free attack with the range, they attack there. Lancelot is soaking up damage, we may actually be able to win this. Yeah, we actually do. I don't know what's going on with Mordred, maybe there's conflicting things between summoning a sheep and summoning a character, so I guess we look into that. Also, I guess I'm level 6 now, so maybe... <laughs> Maybe I'm just going crazy and I thought I was level 6 early. But we're still on the quest for Berenstein. Or Good Boy or anything like that. We're playing in Sad Drac, so I don't think the Hungry Hungry Hippo is going to be enough to help us. There's our Good Boy. There is the Good Boy. We could triple this, but we'd have to sell a lot of things. Well, I can sell this, this. I don't really want to sell this. Uh, I also kind of want this to get a little bit more toughness. I think I'm just going to wait. I think this is probably okay. Because now when this dies, we should summon this 820, which is really big, and then it's going to gain toughness boosts and stuff like that. Yeah.
the problem is going to be this 60-42 ranged character in the back. Yeah, I feel like basically now said Drac is just get as many Shadow Assassins as you possibly can. Oh, they have a pumpkin? Oh no. Oh no! They got a Southern Siren as well. Okay. Alright, we need to attack that. No! Yeah, we lose. Oh man, that was closer than it could have been, I guess. I think new sand drag is just ridiculous. Oh, that's a fourth place. Okay. <laughs> Not too mad about that one. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's something weird with Mordred and summoning like uh, tokens where it like blocks the Mordred summon. With some other things, usually it'll like wait until you can like have an open space and then trigger. So there might be a bug there that maybe I should report. But overall, our squad felt pretty good. We were just like, you know, we only had one level 6 character, whereas everyone else had bigger things. New Sandrak seems insane. That's all I'm saying. See you guys next time. If you made it this far into the video, you're clearly enjoying the content. So if you want to help support me being able to make more content, there's two ways to do it. The first is free and very easy. Just following me on Instagram. Uh, you get, you know, to see cool stuff like this cat made out of trees or this dog that's an island. Um, some very interesting or trippy videos like this one, which I, <laughs> it's not for everybody. Um, the other one is just going to my store. Um, I sell art like the ones I've shown. Um, so there's a lot of cool stuff there. You can shop the collections and see things like this. I'm selling t-shirts uh, and I would really appreciate it. Thank you.